be those readings dropping down to close to the freezing mark between now and 8 o'clock. I don't think the roads will get slippery despite the snow falling because the road surfaces are still warm after yesterday's temperatures in the 70s. Here's radar just over the last couple of hours. The rain in green, the snow in the light blue, and the snow is gaining strength across the front range as temperatures get a little bit colder. To the south of us, winter weather advisories over Jefferson County, Douglas County, up into Gilpin and Clear Creek. Winter storm warnings down the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. This is what the storm is going to do over the next 24 hours. Not a lot of snow up toward Greeley and Fort Morgan, kind of a mix, but you might pick a quarter inch of water out of it one to two up toward dia two to four in aurora and then it gets heavier down toward castle rock closer to about five and maybe some readings closer to about eight inches when you get over into higher elevations to the south of 285 down there in jefferson county 43 was the high 33 has been the low so far with 0.03 in the gauged you can see a little bit of light snow showing up in the downtown area right now we are at 33 at the airport 34 downtown pressure rising winds are out of the north northwest eight miles per hour big picture warm Warm dry air off to the east of us, the colder air here. Front has moved through and a low pressure system moving along that front tonight and early tomorrow. That low helps to increase the upslope conditions and brings us the heavier snows on the south side of the metro area. And even heavier when you get down here across southeastern Colorado, especially from the Sangre de Cristos out east across the southern foothills and the southeastern plains. By morning, clearing skies coming into western Colorado. 18 at Craig by morning. We'll see about 30 here in Denver, 30 to Greeley, Akron, and Fort Collins. Front range numbers cold enough that there may be some icy spots and stretches, bridges, ramps, overpasses at lower elevations, and it will be rather snow covered up in the mountains, especially above about 9,000 feet early tomorrow. So wet and slushy weather holds through mid morning, and then in the afternoon, the snow drops to the south of us. Mostly clear skies coming in, but it's going to be a cold afternoon and evening for trick or treat with temperatures tomorrow only expected to be in the mid 40s in Denver, a little bit milder up to the north of us. As far as the front range, mostly going to be mid 40s for tomorrow. Tonight, it's going to be light snow and wet roads and 30 for a low temperature. Tomorrow, the high getting up to 45 morning snow and then gradual clearing trick or treat. Bundle up your ghouls and goblins. No snow falling, but temperatures dropping into the upper 30s. After that, we get another fast moving front coming through here into Thursday. That's more snow for the mountains but just gusty winds expected on the plains. So tomorrow is chilly, windy Thursday, partly cloudy Friday, back to the upper 50s. And although the mountains will see a little moisture every couple of days, we're going to stay dry here until a few showers return next Monday.